Hello, how to solve this is t times t times t equals 1 over 27, solving for all values of t. So let's start. We have t times t, that is t power 2 times t again. This is t power 3 equals 1 divided by 27. Now I can express 1 as 1 power 3, and also I can express 27 as 3 power 3. So I have t power 3 equals 1 power 3, that is 1, divided by 3 power 3, that is 27. If you have a power c divided by b power c, this equals a divided by b to the power of c of t power 3 equal this is 1 divided by 3 to the power of 3. So from here, we move this over here of t power 3 minus 1 divided by 3 to the power of 3 equals 0. So from here, if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, equals a minus b times a squared plus a p plus b power 2. And in this case, my a is t and my b is 1 over 3. So I use this in order to expand. I apply them here. So I'm going to have t minus 1 over 3 as e minus b times t squared plus t times 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 2 this equals 0 so from here we have t minus 1 over 3 times t squared plus this is t divided by 3 plus we distribute this to each of the terms here that is 1 power 2 divided by 3 power 2 this equals 0 so from here we have t minus 1 over 3 times t squared plus t divided by 3 plus 1 power 2, that is 1 divided by 9, equals 0. This is our 1. So let's equate each of these to 0. Of t minus 1 over 3 equals 0. Or I have t squared plus t divided by 3 plus 1 over 9 equals 0. This is our 1. So to solve this equation, I move this over here. Of t equals 1 over 3. This is my t1. To solve this other one here, I find the LCM. The LCM here is 9. 9 divided by 1, 9. 9 times t squared. 9 t squared plus 9 divided by 3. 3, 3 times t. t plus 9 divided by 9. 1, 1 times 1. We have 1. Equals 0 is 0, 1. So we cross multiply, 9 multiplies 0, 0. This multiplies 1, we have 9t squared plus 3t plus 1 equals 0. So let's solve this using the formula method. So equals negative p plus or minus square root of p squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. A equals 9, that's equation of t squared. B equals 3, that is this. And C equals 1, that is this. So from here we have t equals negative, that is negative 3, plus a minus square root of, this is 3 squared, minus 4 times 9 times 1, divided by 2 times 9. So from here, t 
plus negative 3 plus a minus square root of. This is 9 minus. This is 36 divided by 18. So from here, Ft equals negative 3 plus a minus square root of 9 minus 36, negative 27 divided by 18. So from here, Ft equals negative 3 plus a minus this minus here, square root of negative 1 times square root of 27 divided by 18. So from here, remember, square root of negative 1 here is i, of t equals negative 3, plus or minus i times square root of 20 standard 9 times 3, divided by 18, this equals negative 3, plus or minus i times square root of 9 times square root of 3, divided by 18. So from here, we have t equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9. That is 3, over root of 3, divided by 18. And this equals 3 divided itself once, divided this once, divided this, we have 6. We have negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3, divided by 6. So from here we have t equals, let's factor out 1 over 6, is negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3. So we have two complex values for t. We have t2 because we have gotten one value already. So this will be my t2. So you have t2 equals 1 over 6 of negative 1 plus i times root 3. And t3 equals 1 over 6 negative 1 minus i times root 3. So these are the two complex values for t, and the real value for t is 20 equals 1 over 3. So we can verify this by inserting this particular value for t. t equals 1 over 3. That is t times t times t equals 1 over 27. We substitute this for t, 1 over 3 times, 1 over 3 times, 1 over 3 equals 1 over 27. So from here, we multiply the numerator, 1 times 1 times 1, that is 1 divided by 3 times 3, 9 times 3, this is 27 equals 1 over 27. So the both sides of this are the same. So this shows that our solution is correct, that's it. Thank you and goodbye.